Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm coming at you with 10 top harmonica myths. We're gonna debunk them all. Before I go on, uh, if you wanna support my channel, please click like on this video, and also subscribe if you click the little um, notification bell. That means that you'll be told every time I put a new free harmonica lesson up on YouTube. Okay, so these top 10 myths, they're Things I hear all the time, uh, this list is supposed to be a little bit of fun and uh, not too serious, but they are things that I think are useful to beginner harmonica players. So let me know in the comments the myths that you've heard yourself whilst you've been learning. And if this list doesn't put you off playing the harmonica, then check out the link to my beginner course as well. Okay, so not in any order in particular, but let's get started with number one. And number one is that the harmonica is only for playing blues. And this is false. There are so many different types of harmonica used for playing in different styles, and there are so many amazing players. You can easily think of Stevie Wonder, Larry Adler, Toots Thielmans, just really quickly off the top of the head, but there are so many other players playing all different types from jazz to classical to folk, all different types of folk music from around the world, so it's just false. Number two, the harmonica is easy to play. Okay, so this is true and false. It's true because it's easy to play badly, but that's true of any instrument. And of course, it's difficult to play well. And there are lots of bad harmonica players out there. So if someone tells you it's easy, ask them what they can play and how difficult the stuff they're playing is. Okay, number three. Bob Dylan is a bad harmonica player. Okay, this one's true. It's true. Um, I'm sorry, Bob. I, I'm just going to leave it there. Let's move on. Let's not get into that. <laughs> number four. You should soak your harmonicas in alcohol to make them more airtight. This is false. Now some players have done this traditionally and you might even see Neil Young on stage put his in a uh, cup of alcohol, but he can afford to buy new harmonicas all the time. The sad thing is if they have a wooden comb, it will in the short term swell and make them seal, but over time when they dry, it will crack and they won't play well at all. So I don't recommend you soaking them in alcohol. Number five, you need a fancy harmonica to sound good. Okay, so this is true and false, but let's start with the false. Most of us do not need a fancy harmonica. There's a bare minimum, if you buy a really crap harmonica, it's gonna be difficult to play. But above a kind of a certain level, it's really only if you're trying to get that extra 1% as a top pro player that these kind of really fancy harps will make a huge difference. So they will sound great, but you really need to concentrate on the technique first, otherwise they're pointless. Number six, amps make you sound better. This is false. Amps will only make you sound louder. So you put shit in, you get shit out. Simple as. Number seven, you don't need to read music because it's pointless with harmonica. This is false. Now you don't need to read music, but it is not pointless. You might want to choose to read it, and again, it depends on the style of music you play. A lot of pop and folk and harmonica stuff um, in blues circles doesn't need uh, sheet music in order for you to play it. But with other styles, it's really helpful and there will be a point when you'll need it. So uh, although you don't need it, it can be quite useful. Okay, number eight. Harmonicas only play in one key. So this is true and false. So the truth of this is that diatonic harmonicas, certain type of harmonica, the one I play, the one that most people play, are tuned to play in one key. But it's possible to play them in all 12 keys if you're a good enough player. And of course there are all types of harmonicas that play in all different types of keys anyway. So a little bit true, a little bit false. 
Number nine, harmonica is good for your health. This is true, which is good for us. So they've actually done studies that have found that it really helps your lung capacity and they've used it with patients suffering with COPD and used it as a health promoting exercise and found really, really good results with that. And of course, more widely, music is great for your mental health um, in terms of the social aspect and just learning a new skill. And finally, number 10, harmonica cannot be taught. You'd be amazed how often as a harmonica teacher I hear this. It's false, of course, otherwise I'm out of a job. Ah. So it's true that it's difficult to describe a lot of the techniques that come with the harmonica because it's inward. It's in your mouth, it's in your throat, it's down in your, in your kind of diaphragm and in your stomach muscles. But that doesn't mean you can't describe them and there have been some pretty ingenious techniques including CT scans and x-rays and stuff to show you what's going on inside. So of course it can be taught, or at least I hope it can, otherwise I'm going to have to start looking for something different. Okay, so they are the top 10 harmonica myths that I've heard, but I'd love to hear some of the myths that you've heard over the years, things that might be true, might be false, might be somewhere in between. So do let me know in the comments what you think. And if this hasn't put you off playing the harmonica, then check out my beginner course. It's step by step from absolute beginner, and uh, there's more details via the link beneath this video. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to support my channel, please click like and subscribe to my channel. If you click the bell, that means that you'll be first to see all of my new lessons. I hope to see you again soon, and until I do, good luck with your practice. Cheers.